Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Databricks. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this lesson you will learn how to run Python or rather PySpark in Databricks and how to run queries using PySpark and DataFrame. By the end of the lesson, you will have learned how to read data into a PySpark data frame. You will also know how to describe the data in the data frame and look at the data and query it using PySpark. Now, in order to run Python on Databricks, we need to have a new notebook that will have the default language of Python. And for that, click create and then select notebook. Give a suitable name to your notebook. And in the default language, here you have to select Python because we are going to run Python commands in the notebook. Choose your cluster and then click create. Now your notebook will be created where you will see that the default language is Python. But the good thing is you can also run SQL commands inside this Python notebook by using a magical command of this. And after that, you can simply write SQL commands inside the Python notebook. Okay, simply run it and you can see that it has provided us the output of the SQL command. But if we remove this magical command and now we run the query, it is going to return us invalid syntax because we are working in a Python notebook. Okay, so in order to have Python, we use the data frame object. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a data frame object and use the PySpark dot SQL function and inside this function we'll pass the query to load the data into the data frame object from the table pets. Okay, now we are going to run the query. You can see that our query is executed, expanded and here you can see all the attributes and their data types that have been loaded into the data frame object. Now you can use this data frame object to view the data and to perform other operations in it. In order to view the data, simply use the display method and pass the data frame object in it. You can also run this command box using shift and enter. In here you can see that all the data that we migrated from our table into the data frame object has been successfully displayed. And just like we can find the number of rows using SQL, we can do so using Python as well. And for that, we are going to use the data frame object and use the count function with it. Execute the query. And you'll see that the output is 100, which means that there are a total of 100 rows present inside the data frame object. Moreover, we can further describe the data present inside the column by using the describe function. For that, we'll once again use the display function and inside the display function, we'll pass data frame dot describe function. And this is going to give us an additional information about the data present inside the tables. Here you can see that it has provided us the count, which means the total number of pet IDs and total number of names, etc. Mean for all the values, the standard deviation and the minimum and maximum values for all the particular columns. So the describe function is used to get some additional information about all the columns. Now, if you want to display a particular column instead of displaying all the columns, you can simply write the query display use the data frame object dot select function and inside the function you simply type the column name that you want to display okay and then simply execute the query and it is going to display you the record for the column name okay similarly you can pass any column name here to display only that particular column if you remember in the previous lesson that while running sql and databricks we run a query in which we Group the result on the basis of age to get the number of pets for each particular age group. We can run a similar query in Python as well. And for that, we'll once again use the display method. And in the side, the display method, we will use the data frame object to get its group by attribute. And we are going to group the data on the basis of age. Then we will count the data and then we are going to order it 
on the basis of age get the number of pets for each age group okay now let's execute the query and here you can see that for each age it has displayed the number of pets and the ages are sorted in the ascending order and just like we did visualization of the data in SQL we can also do so in Python by clicking here and then selecting visualization and here you have various type of graphs we are going to select the bar graph and here you can see that all the record that we displayed has been visualized in the form of bar graph so this is how you can run Python on Databricks in a new notebook so this is all for this video thank you